Hi friends, we will show one countdown timer in a Tinker label. So in this window you can see it is counting down and it will stop at 0. So we will learn how we will do this. This is our blank template. We are starting from here. Initially we have imported Kinter, then we have created the parent window here, my underscore w and the width and height of the window we have set it here. You can change it the way you want. So first let's uh, declare a higher size font because we are displaying it in a window uh, in our label. So my font, what's the font is equal to now I am giving it the family, what family I am using, it's times. Now what the size is, size 76 you can change the size and what should be the style of it bold italic normal whatever you can take i just given bold now let's take the label l1 equal to tk dot label and what's my parent window is my underscore w so font here i am taking the font here my font what i have declared at the top so i can write it here itself now let's just for the uh, to display it prominently i am giving a background equal to yellow you can give whatever uh, color you want and because two digits I will be displaying so width equal to 2 let me just yeah here you see width equal to 2 now let's place it on a grid so l1 dot grid now where it will be it's the first one so I am giving row equal to 0 I can give one also so column equal to 1 or 0 whatever because this is the only element it is there so pad x I am not flushing it with the left edge so I am giving 50 pad y from the top I am giving 30 sorry pad y equal to 30 that's all my layout is over uh, sorry here it will be l1 there is no text I have written so here it is now you slightly bigger it will be here here is my font and then the layout I can just display it but there is no text I have written there you can see it here it is let's declare the counter from where it will start so the it's a variable so counter equal to 11 because the moment we start it decrease and it will start from 10 you want it to start from a higher value just increase this so I am saying uh, counter this initial value this is you can change it to whatever value you want now let me just declare a function here my time so this is the function inside which I will write the code to change the value of the counter but this counter value I will be accessing it inside this function and increase decrementing it so I have to declare it as global so global counter so now next is once it is declared as a global now let me just decrease it counter equal to counter minus 1 so every time this function is called the counter value from 11 it will be 10 next time it's called it's it uh, 10 to 9 like that 1 1 1 it will decrease so here I will just okay write it decrease by 1 so next is if counter is less than 0 means it is the value is minus 1 here it is less than 0 then what I will do is I will clo come out of this uh, function so I will say return but that be below this nothing will be executed but below that I will write it to print the whatever the counter value is inside a label inside the label l1 whatever we have written below so for that I will write l1 dot config config I can use to change any attribute or any option value of a wizard so it, it not necessarily that it should be a label any button or anything whatever I want to display I can use the config it can be configure also so I am saying what part here I am the use changing the text text equal to I can write counter then what one issue is here so if it is counter here that means the counter value will be written as text but counter is a integer here so I must convert it to string by using str and then displaying it as a uh, text counter that's fine but how I will call this function this function is like calling in in a gap of one second this my time this particular function has to be called so instead of calling it from outside I will call it from inside I will say l1 dot after this is a timer function what this will do will it will take in millisecond so thousand millisecond is one second at a gap of one second this will call the function my time 
what is my time this is the same function only so once this line what it will do it will wait for one second or thousand millisecond then call this function my time now what happened inside that again this will execute update this uh, configure this uh, uh, label value and again it will wait for one second to call it but when it is falls below zero or it becomes minus one this will come out or this function will be re will return it so this second part will not be executed again once the value falls below zero or it became minus one so that's all but there is one more issue this function somewhere i have to call it to trigger once for the first time i have to trigger it so for that what i will do i will come here and call the function once my time once i call it then it will start uh, running self running or recursively call itself and till it becomes minus one then it will come out of it now let's just save this and run once and see so is there any error no so it starts 10 9 8 7 like that the countdown will start because this my time function is calling itself and it will stop at zero so it stopped because i have not you want some other value minus it go change this line number eight to other values you will change it then we can add the function of pause start restart all those functionality also we can add it so this was just a question asked i to keep it very simple we have just displayed it in a counter we have other tutorials also where the clock is displayed and it counts down till new year i'll leave the link in the comment section you can watch that also I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any idea suggestion question use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching